everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE action figure playset slash vehicle review, and today it is on the brand new WWE Reckon Slam Cycle. As you guys know, in the past few years, Mattel has started pumping out these vehicle sets, and this one is finally our first motorcycle from Mattel. You guys remember we got the Reckon Slam Mobile, we got the Reckon Slambulance. I think all of them have been available at both Walmart and Target. I think, like, I thought the Slam Mobile was like only Target, but then I ended up seeing it at Walmart, vice versa with the ambulance. And I actually found this at my local Walmart, and this is pretty much all they had. You guys remember we did the toy hunt, and then literally the next day I found this, which is ridiculous. It freaking, like, what is that? Anytime I pull the camera out, man, nothing. Put it up, there's something. So anyways, guys, we got the Wreck and Slam Cycle. I like what we got going on over here. I'm glad that I got this version over the Drew McIntyre version. There's an opposite version that is Drew McIntyre on a bike. I think it's red with flames, but I'm excited to have the black version and the Undertaker version, but as we dive in here, guys, on the left side of the packaging, you have a great image of Undertaker and AJ Styles, kind of, you know, I guess it's supposed to be from their Boneyard match, is kind of what the deal, the deal is there. Includes Undertaker figure, WWE logo, black and purple going on. You got, of course, the basic figure riding the motorcycle, crush me, rotate headlight to reset, so you can, I guess you can, like, crush crush this P. We're gonna find out about all the functionality and stuff right there. On the front, it says Wreck and Slam Cycle. On the side, it says Nine Breakaway P. Pieces. We'll see about that one, Brad. On the side, it's got a little Undertaker logo right there, which I really like. A little piece right here that's kind of just, I, I don't know what that is, just a little hole. On this side, it says Wreck and Slam Cycle, and then on the back, it has all of the pieces. It's got some more action shots of the vehicle. You got Undertaker, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre picking up the engine, of all things, to crush someone with. Jesus Christ. On the right side, it shows everything that it includes. Taker, pieces, bike, all the good ish. And then over here, it does say Replace with Battle Damage Gas Tank. So I guess on the other side or at the top of the thing, we'll, we'll get into it. But pop a wheelie in a damn motorcycle, bro. Pop a wheelie on a John Brown motorcycle. You got me messed up, Brad. Anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for our packaging. Now, I don't know if this is available on Ringside Collectibles, but if you guys want to check it out, go to RingsideCollectiblesWrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. And yeah, that's about it, Brad. Let's go ahead and crack this motorcycle out of its packaging. Dead man walking. Alright guys, so here's the Undertaker and the bike out of the packaging. We have it standing around here. First thing that I want to compare guys is going to be the scale. I think the scale is pretty decent. I, I like it. I like a lot of what is going on right here. One thing I will say, I think it scales better with this bike than it does with, say, you know, the car. I feel like the car is a little bit too small compared to this. I feel like the Bratz Mobile and the limo and things like that actually scale better. I like the scale of the ambulance as well. I just feel like the car maybe is a little bit too small and I understand it and everything, but I think the scale fits better with a bike. And you guys know that you could buy those Harley Davidson bikes, but they're usually way too small. This is actually going to look great. I think if you custom painted this hoe, which I'm, I'm thinking about doing, would be really badass. And maybe you could do like a matte black. You could add some chrome details instead of this flat silver that we got going on and everything like that. I think that'd be really cool. But let's dive into the figure real quick. Not a lot of stuff going on with this, guys. It is a basic figure, but it is the Elite 79 head sculpt. You got like a sleeveless shirt taker. You got the taker logo and a car in shape. You got R.I.P. here. Long Undertaker black pants. One thing I did notice is this freaking foot is actually pretty poseable compared to other basic feet. I don't know if they made that specifically because of it, it, you know, it's the slam cycle and they want it to be more functional and stuff. It's probably the case, but this is older basic articulation, I'm pretty sure, for, for like pants or long pants figures, so that's something to note. We got the, you know, the newer arms that are garbage with the no bicep rotation. His hands do have all black gloves, like his fingers are not painted skin tone, so I guess he's wearing all black gloves. You got the long elbow pad and that's pretty much it. I wanted to cover that real quick just in case anybody cared about the figure you get. You do get a nice Elite 79 head sculpt and this guy is probably going to go in my crowd or I'm going to use this head sculpt for a custom or, or something like that. But there is the Undertaker figure that it comes with. And then up next guys, we do have the bike. Now for the bike, I'm not going to get into the functionality of it first. I'm going to cover just a quick review of it so you guys can see all the details that we got going on. So on the front wheel right here, it does have some nice tread going on right there and everything. This is not soft rubber. I thought that this would be rubber, but it is like a plastic, so, you know, it's not gonna grip really anything. It will, like, slide. That's actually not too bad, but it definitely it definitely doesn't grip like rubber or anything like you get on those Harley Davidson motorcycles. Flat silver, you know, no chrome or shininess going on. You got the black front fender right there. You got the pipes coming down the front right here, the axle or whatever the hell you want to call that. On the front, you do get these, like, gray flame decals, and you also get that same kind of pattern going on 
on the gas tank right here. So this is the gas tank of the motorcycle, as you guys can see. I don't think it comes with stickers. I thought that it might come with stickers because you guys will notice that the front right here is super plain Jane. I mean, I don't even know what would go right here. I don't own a motorcycle. I've never seen that. I don't know what that's supposed to look like exactly. I've had family members who have motorcycles. Not me, Brad. I'm not a motorcycle rider. I don't make the rules. I just break them. So there's the gas tank with the with the flames going on and the gray detail. On the front, you have this headlight and there's actually, you guys will notice that you push this right here. Apparently you like, I think you, I, I don't know how it like functionally works, like how it gets to work really good. But if you push it, you guys will notice that it does flip and it has like a broken headlight and a like battle damage look on the front. And you got like the metal scratches coming through, like the paint's been scratched off and the headlight has been busted. So you get two different options right there to have it busted or full. And then uh, you have this nice little front fender here. I honestly would like, like this to be removed so you get sort of that classic like chopper look going on. But it's, it's not the biggest deal. I mean, actually, like if you really wanted to, you might could cut that off or something. But who knows what that would look like. It may look a little bit odd. But uh, there is that. Going down into the gas tank and the engine. Or we already kind of covered the gas tank. But you do get the WWE logo right there. It's It looks like a motorcycle engine to me. I don't know about this piece right here. But this piece definitely looks like a motorcycle engine. I like the way it looks. You got these nice exhaust pipes coming through. You get some nice flames like sketched on there or sculpted onto the side. You got this little pit. I really don't even know what this is right here. Like underneath the gray seat. The seat looks pretty good. I actually like that detail right there. It's pretty hard plastic and everything. Got the little black pieces coming through all through here. On the back you get chain and you get some other things. You get a little clip right here. I don't know why that clip's there. I need to look at the old instructions but there's a little clip right there. I'll figure that out in a second but you got the chain. You got more details with the engine and stuff going on the black back fender with the tail light. Doesn't even have a tail light there but back wheels obviously functional it is the same piece there and there's the back treads you got this little kickstand accessory that really or i guess it's not really an accessory but the bike pretty much stands by itself like you don't have to worry about it balancing so that's really nice functionality you could tip this up and do a wheelie for christ's sake and it obviously does roll so if you want to use you know load rider undertaker you want to use american badass undertaker in your pick fed or something he could come out that'd be really sick to do keep rolling 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 keep rolling but there it is. Now let's get into the functionality. You guys will also notice that it does come with an interchangeable gas tank. Now this is the one that it came with out of the packaging. This is the one that came in extra. And all you'll do to get this off, you pretty much just stick your nail down in here and pull it apart and it will pull apart. And there you go, you got the gas tank right there and it's got the little clips there and it does come with these little clips or these pegs on the inside of the gas tank that you would just plug on there. So I guess while we have that off, we might as well show off the functionality. So there is the one piece that pops off or the two pieces that pop off. You can also pop it off in the front right here. So the front axle or the front bars will pop off. You got the handlebars as well. Uh, and that just clips into that little pole in there to put that back together. It's not too crazy. So then you're left with the base. You can also pop the engine out. Now the way to pop the engine out is just pushing it and it will fly out like that and you can replace that. I honestly wish this was two separate pieces because like this, it, like, a, like a motorcycle engine would be heavy as shit. So if you were to pop this out in real life, I feel like this would disconnect from here. This wouldn't be all one big piece, but again, I don't make the rules. I just break them, I, you know. You also have the exhaust pipes right here that unplug from these little peg holes that come unplugged right there. And after that, guys, I'm pretty sure, I don't know for for positives, but I've sat here for like 20 minutes playing with this, and this is uh, all you get. That's pretty much all you get from the breakaway parts. You guys will see down here in the packaging, this is the one big back piece. Apparently, the kickstand comes off. Okay, so you can pop the kickstand off as well. So the kickstand comes off, you have the back piece right there, you have the engine, you have the exhaust pipes, you have your two breakaway, two different gas tanks here, one with the flames, one with the lightning design, and then you have the front portion there, which looks like this. And that's pretty much all you get. So with the Slambulance and the Wrecking Slammobile, you definitely get more like options of breaking it away, like you can't break any of this apart, you can turn this into a unicycle or something. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding,
disappointed. I'm disappointed. Anyways, guys, uh, I, I like what we got going on right here. I like the blue paint right there for that gas tank. Uh, pretty good details right there. You have like the top of the gas tank right there that you would unscrew to put gas in it as well. So to put this guy back together, I'm going to start off with the gas tank. So to put this back on, you would just push that into here. Good God. So after porting that in, that put it in backwards. Christ on a bike. This kickstand's difficult to get in here, man. I'm going to BS with you. All right, I think I got it there. Now it's wanting to fall over. Did I bend that? Jesus. All right, there you go. All right, we got it. We got it. All right, next up, guys, I always go with the engine right here. So you'll take the engine and you pretty much, I like putting it in this way, I think. No, this way. And I think you just kind of put that in there like that. It clips into place. You'll then take your exhaust, you'll line up your little pipe things, so the little pegs. So your pegs line up, and you would just plug that in right there, and then all the pegs line up, and you just kind of stick it on there so it all goes on nicely. And then to see what the battle damaged one looks like, I'm going to go ahead and just put that one on so it says it has an R on it so you guys can know which side to put it on. But that plops in there, and then that plops in there, and there you go. You got your gas tank. And then last but not least, you have your front little piece that you'll just put on onto that little clip, and bam. Ah, oh, damn. I cannot figure out this kickstand, bro. Alright, is that it? And there we go. There is your motorcycle. Now, one thing that I think a lot of people are going to want to see with this as well is see how Elites fit on here. So, I am going to take an Elite Undertaker and see how it looks on the bike before we get out of here. And I'm also going to read through this really quickly to make sure I didn't miss any features or any pieces or stickers or anything like that. So, if we were going to try and put this guy on the bike, guys, I would uh, obviously you want to lean the forward guy forward like this, slightly bend the knees, you know, and get the hands like so, and see if we can get this guy on the bike without looking like a total jackass here. Uh, maybe put on the, you know, he's got the mic holding hand, so the handlebar should slide in here pretty decent. And they kind of don't, because you got to think, these are interchangeable, so they're kind of stiff. They don't, you know, there you go. Got the one hand, going over here, getting the other hand, sliding that on, and then putting the feet on the, all right, let's all right, let's see. All right, that's not terrible. That's definitely not terrible. His ass doesn't go completely on the seat as much as I'd like, but I think that's pretty good. Like, yeah, it's not bad. You can see he lifts a little bit, but if you keep his feet on the pegs and, you know, like that, like his feet are kind of difficult to fit on the pegs. Like, you got to turn his feet kind of inside here. But if you were to do him like this, maybe, and, like, lean it over to one side, like, you know, he's chilling, and it's like, you know, what are, what are the hell, are they, like, throttling or whatever the hell you want to call it. And, you know, you wanted him to just be sitting there, like, for a photo op or something. I think that's pretty badass right there. Yeah, I like that. I like You got a little something special going on there, young man. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to do it for our review on the Wreck and Slam Cycle from Mattel. Again, if you want to pick this thing up, you can. I don't know if it's available at ringside, but you can grab it at Walmart and Target. And I would check now, because if they hit my area, Brad, they're probably in your back door. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout-out. So the shout-out is going to go to Zach Axe, who commented this clever comment on our last video. Somebody we haven't seen in a year, referring to what I said about Cena in a Royal Rumble fantasy booking video. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen him. <laughs> That's good stuff, Brad. Shout out to Zach Axe for that comment. Got me a little chuckle. I even replied to it and said underrated comment because at the time it didn't have any likes and I hearted it and I guess it kind of popped up to the top after that and then uh, more people saw it so it did end up getting a bunch of likes there so that's pretty cool. I enjoyed that comment. Huge shout out to Zach Axe for that. Guys, if you'd like a random shout out in a future video, leave me a comment, turn on the bell for notifications while subscribing to the channel and you could end up with yourself a random shout out. But before we get out of here, I gotta tell you not to cross the line. So, don't do that. You cross the line, I've been